Good morning everyone and welcome back to a new round of the Daily Gaming News here at the New Blind. I'm your host, House Test. We got the best news in the industry because you can finally pat the dock and enter the gungeon and just look at it. Look at this little fella. How happy he is, finally. And that wasn't always the case, because actually in Enter the Gungeon, previously you were not able to pet the dog, and only with the most recent update, the final update for the game, A Farewell to Arms, now the developers and lead designer, Dodgeroll Dave here, known as at Dave underscore Crooks, has brought this update finally into the game. Previously it was tweeted out by the account Can You Pet the Dog that it wasn't able, people demanded it, and well, they delivered, so yeah, supply and demand, and it, ah, oh, just such a nice experience. But in action news, <laughs> <laughs> Jason Trier has delivered yet another great article on Kotaku, this time not regarding Anthem, but actually the other game that's also developed by Bioware, and that is Dragon Age 4. He goes in about how it was developed first, that it has seen a reboot basically, and now um, it's of course also looking forward in the future. What will the future bring? Will it be an on live online service, for example, and stuff like that? So it's, again, another great read, really. Look at it yourself. Link is in the description down below. And let's move on. We actually have also confusing news. Because after H1Z1 was, you know, split between the survival mode and the battle royale mode, and the battle royale mode was actually uh, developed from then on by Nant G Mobile here, as you can see here. And now that team is actually going back again to mobile games, and instead, the company that originally started or Daybreak game is coming back to develop what is now known as Z1 Battle Royale. Because, yeah, they changed, like, names for it also twice. So, just in case anyone's asking, I don't know how many are even playing Z1 Battle Royale right now. But, yeah, Daybreak is finally back again as the development team of that game. And does it help? I don't know. Probably not. What people are definitely going to continue to play is Super Smash Bros, of course, and the Nintendo Switch. And in a brand new ad, actually, they sort of revealed that there will be a stage builder mode. So we don't know when that mode will come yet, but it was spotted, of course, on Reset Era, who saw the uh, images here coming up, and it's like, oh, interesting. I guess there's a stage building mode coming very soon. And with the new Joker character from Persona 5, I think, coming soon as a playable character also, maybe this can be implemented in the game as well with the same update. So yeah, updates are still following up, but pretty sure that this is a confirmed feature in the future. What is sadly also happening in Destiny News is they started the arc week and had a much more of a bigger update now, but <laughs> apparently there is a weapon that is exclusive to PlayStation 4 and players on PC were able to get this one. Seems like these timed exclusive weapons are just a bunch of bullshit because they are already in the code and they're just waiting to be activated in the loot pool. That's not the only problem that they had with the game yesterday. They were tweeting out constantly like, oh yeah, actually there were people who were getting the wrong emotes from Arc Week and yeah, so it's not the only issue, but of course, this one is very much prevalent. The weapon, as you can see here right now, is still exclusive to the PlayStation 4 platform until September for a whole year. And there's also another thing regarding this, because, hey, in Destiny 2 data mining news, we actually saw that there's a new weapon coming very soon. It's called the R Ballest. It's a weapon which basically fires slug shells, which are taking down enemy shields very quickly. So far, nobody has been able to find this R Ballest weapon yet, but apparently, thanks to data mining, we found out that this is not even in the game yet, and it will be sold by Eva Levante, the person that's only around for the dawning event, which is on this, the winter seasonal event. So we may have to wait until December to see this weapon finally being around again. Other than that, just as a reminder, if you missed the chance to get your hands on on the Thunder Lord machine gun weapon. The quest is now available again for the next two weeks, so play through it. It's a really fantastic mission. It's bringing you back to an old location, which we know very well, definitely. So yeah, take it out. Uh, just follow along. It's not very, it takes like three hours maybe to complete. And then you have the Thunder Lord weapon, which itself is a great help in mostly PvE and PvP as well. But yeah, if you don't want to see that this weekend, how about we see the reveal of the Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order game, which is developed by Respawn Entertainment, the same guys that also work, of course, on Apex Legends. People are very much hyped for this because it's finally a Star Wars game which may not be cancelled. Well, at least we will reveal this time, so <laughs> it's not that bad, at least. And we don't know much more about that. We only know that it will happen this Saturday, April 13th, around 11.30 a.m. Pacific time. So those will be in the afternoon, evening times on the Europe side of things. So I'm definitely hyped about that, and we're gonna do here at the New Byte Direction 
to that news as well, of course. And more release news, uh, it's finally time. People can actually just pay with the credit card to unlock cheats on the video game. And this one is in Resident Evil 2, where for five bucks you can unlock everything, including, of course, items like um, cheats and infinite ammo, infinite rocket ammo and such more. That makes the game, of course, very easy. On the one side, I'm against this because I think, you know, it's a good reward to have to play it for free for yourself. And you can still do that. You know, it's not locked behind this paywall. And on the other side, uh, for people that need that help, maybe, I don't know, for five bucks extra, that could be much more enjoyable for them. I'm really not sure, man. I wish that was just the thing that is in the game. Sort of, uh, the developers has just left it in the game because they needed to uh, test something real quickly. And that's why they got the everything unlocked cheat but yeah at this time it's getting uh capitalized and yeah you can buy now a cheat for five bucks releases also this week we have dangerous driving which is partially also from ex burner developers and i tried it yesterday for myself for like half an hour this is a review here hosted by rock paper shotgun fun and really good so you may want to read it yourself it's uh, actually out for only 24.99 pounds or 29.99 euros dollars or euros it's available on Epic or Humble Store on PC, and it's also available, of course, on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. What's interesting about this release is actually that there's no in-game music. There's only a menu music in the beginning, but in the races itself, there's no music. But what is really cool is if you have a Spotify Premium account, you can just log in into that, and then inside of the game, you can play basically any music you want. And yeah, a full review will, of course, follow very soon. Then also finally available is the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney series the first trilogy actually of the games and that is available on every platform pc nintendo switch playstation for xbox one here is a review that i found here on pc gamer ready for yourself if you want and it seems to be again it's a very good one in may we have actually the witcher finally coming to monster hunter world it's actually may 9th and also may coming is the Sniper Elite V2 remaster. There's an official comparison trailer here between the original release and the remaster, and you can play that on May 14th, seven years after its original release. And that has been it for the gaming news today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. My name is Hastas here for the new bite. Follow us everywhere on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and of course you can join our Discord channel if you want to. It's very easy to find. Just go to thenewbite.com slash Discord, and that's where the invite link is. I will see you tomorrow again for the news. In the afternoon, we also have another roundtable video coming out from Dan and myself talking about watchdogs for you, so subscribe to not miss that. And as always, have a nice day and see you soon. Bye bye.